so this video is going to be a little bit more on the rant side versus an valuable do this kind of video and it's about being self-reliant so quick background i just finished my five-week trip to the philippines and then while i was there i was actually doing freelance writing i'm sorry <coughs> and now that i'm here i'm back and i was gonna do travel nursing when i came back from my trip but <clears throat> i need to do some health checkup and the Canadian healthcare system is not very reliable, so I don't know when this will be done. Anyway, so I'm giving myself about two months before I go back to do another assignment or if I find something or if my YouTube miraculously goes well in the next two months, then I wouldn't have to go back to do travel nursing because I just hate being away from my husband and my family and friends. Even though the money is really good, it's still not thing that i'm oh my god looking forward to go to do even though it is good it is good. i like travel nursing i guess from this perspective what i've been feeling is that the difficulty when it comes to nothing's happening in your life so for example when i stop doing travel nursing and then i start freelance writing suddenly i have no income again i realized this is just part of the whole entrepreneurship or self-employment journey is that it's just the way it is so you almost can't be upset or feel all these feelings. You're allowed to feel upset, you're allowed to feel scared, anxious, nervous about it, but it's almost like you knew that this was going to happen. You knew that this is part of the process. It's like going to an amusement park or a roller coaster and then complaining that it was it made you dizzy or it made you crazy or I don't know, I've never really been to a roller coaster, so that's what I just assume. So same thing when it comes to doing this whole entrepreneurship or self-employment thing is that you should have known that this was going to happen when it comes to the physical, emotional craziness that this comes with, which I'm not complaining, but at the same time, it's just really hard because on those days where nothing is really happening, like I've said, it's very hard to not think about should i go and find a stable job so i don't have to worry about all these other things so i keep going back to that and i think i feel like i've been in that situation before multiple times i've been working since i was 13 and i'm 27 now i know the alternative the alternative is to be in a place where you're no longer growing you don't like the physical and energy in the workplace that you're going and you always have this nagging feeling of i want to leave i want to go i want to be somewhere else but here and i don't know if i can put myself in that situation again i'm in this place where it's like okay i'm not in the ideal place or i'm not in the place where i want to be but i know it's the path to get to where i want to be so no matter how painful or uncomfortable it is you just have to be in it and that's really where the whole self-reliance comes in because before i had a job that would kind of tell me if i'm doing a good job you know i saved a life or i'm giving pain medication and this person no longer has pain but in the whole creator journey there's really nothing i mean you get comments here and there but you don't let that define your worth so you have to find other ways in order to stay on this path not just in a survival mode but in the sustainable or thriving mode right before when i was in this whole thing it's like how can i survive in here but now i'm in a phase where it's like okay how can i actually thrive here because i don't i don't just want to survive i want to thrive this has been really the most difficult part because you wake up every day you have to find the motivation the courage to keep showing up so like this i knew i needed to film today because it's thursday but i was like I'm not feeling what i prepared for today's video so here i am showing up in a different form but still showing up and that's just the mental part and you still have the whole emotional and the financial and there are other aspects when it comes to being whole self-reliant right so i guess the whole point is that if you are on a pathless path like me where you kind of create or you're forging your own path because you really feel that the default path or 
So I'm getting these stems from the book that I'm currently reading, which is called The Pathless Path by Paul Millard. I think it's been really helpful kind of navigating my own experiences while he was going through his own experiences being in this whole journey. So again, if you are in this pathless path, then my only advice to you and myself is really find the different ways to make it sustainable, to make it work for you that you will no longer have to go back to the old place or old situation that you were in because you know how that felt, you know how gruesome it felt and you know that if you love yourself, if you respect yourself enough that you're not going to let yourself be in that situation again. Anyways, I hope that this video resonated with you and that you be kind to yourself and you take it one day at a time.